is it possible to make a VTuber model in paint in like two hours? And if you've seen my lore video on my six month anniversary stream, you will know the answer is yes. But I wanted to show you guys the whole process and show you that you can make your own model in paint for free. Let's go. So first I made a sketch. Um, you don't really need to do this. I think it ended up like being more of a bother than anything in the long term but I still I still did one anyway I guess just for the general proportions and obviously if you don't know um this whole six month anniversary project with making a paint model and stuff was was based off of a series called Nyan Neko Sugar Girls uh which is like this parody series um and you know it's supposed to intentionally look bad but you could do this you could you could you know make all your art in paint still you don't have to make it you know super messy you know i did this with my mouse but you could use an actual tablet and you could make this actually look good in paint if you wanted to but for for this project i did want it to look goofy i wanted it to look very haphazardly drawn as it does in uh Nyaneko sugar girls thankfully paint has added layers in a recent update actually i'm not sure how recent it is now but you can have layers on paint now which is the only way that this is possible because you need to separate all the layers for anyone who's super new to the way that vtuber models work or anything or live 2d you need to have everything separated so that things can overlap right so you need to have a bunch of different layers even when i'm drawing the jacket the jacket's going to cover up most of everything but i still need to draw like the body and the boobs underneath it would look flat right if everything moved together even you can see on my model here i need to have everything showing underneath right when that when the jacket does its wiggly move you still need to be able to see the parts underneath right so we have to we have to draw everything as if as if everything exists underneath stuff and then you have to make sure that all the layers go in the right order with this actual model that i have you know i have a strap here that goes underneath the jacket layer and my body but in front of my arm like imagine you made it out of paper imagine you were making it a paper doll a dress up doll and you have to switch around the order of things right you can't just draw everything on top of one another everything has to be in the right order and so uh, on that topic, you have to, uh, with a VTuber model, if you want the mouth to move, you have to draw the back of the mouth. So your tongue, your, your throat, your teeth and all that. You have to make sure you draw that too. And then you have to have pieces of skin to cover it up. So that's what I was doing there. And now this is where it got a little annoying. On paint, you can't export as a PSD, obviously. So I had to save all of the layers separately as a PNG. Um, and then I had to import it into, uh, I don't have Photoshop, so I use PhotoP, uh, which is like a free, free online version of Photoshop for the Baroque people out there <laughs> like me. So I just took everything into PhotoP and converted it into a PSD. Uh, but what was annoying is when I was like importing everything, even though I was selecting it in a certain order, things were not going, they didn't go down in the correct order. And I tried it a bunch of different ways and it just didn't work. So I ended up having to manually reorder all of the layers, which was honestly probably one of the most time consuming things. <laughs> but then I opened up Live 2D. It was time to rig paint fruits. I started with uh, the head X angle. So this is uh, when I look left and right like this, it all starts with what you see on screen here, these kind of movements. So as you can see, I've gone bold just to move the hair out of the way, just to make that a little easier to move. And then I'm just manipulating the, the art a little bit to give the idea of, of perspective. Obviously, if you were wanting more of a look like my my actual model, you have to be a lot more careful with the way that you move things. You have to be precise, but here with this paint fruits model, the idea was just to be kind of scuffed. So I wasn't thinking too much about it. I was just kind of kind of going with the flow. And as you can see, I've already moved on to the Y angles, which is up and down, looking down looking up looking down and then i moved on to the eyeball uh x and y so that's you know when i'm looking around the room that's it's tracking my eye movement and then i decided to do the blink and i decided to just do like a smiling eyes blink because the line that i drew wasn't very easy to manipulate at least with the the auto meshes that live 2d gave me then i was on to the mouth movement 
Now, mouth movement in a quote unquote real VTuber model is a little more complicated than this, but because this was just like a joke model, I just decided to just do a simple ba 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 mouth opening because it was just easier. Uh, I didn't really bother too much with the body angles, it looks kind of flat, but you know, since, since it's a joke, it's okay. But then we did the breathing animation, so she breathes, and then I moved the bag around just to make it look a little more 3D. Moving those arms behind the body when we turn, like this, gives it more of a 3D look. It's okay, we need to make the hair swing around. You know, when we uh, move from side to side, we want the hair to you know, react like real hair would. So there I am just making the front hair move as well, testing everything out. And of course, bouncy ahoge, bouncy cowlick needed. And then I need to make my wings flap, just like real life. And I just linked that to the breathing. And then I need to make the skirt flap back and forth for that realistic feel. Then it's time for the booba physics. We have to make them uh, have a mind of their own. It's just something that needs to be done. <laughs> And then we reach the final end of the model. Let me go and get changed into her so that you can see. And here was the final result of two hours of my life. <laughs> um, as you can see, it doesn't really have as much expression or movement as my normal model, but you know, if you were like just starting and you just wanted something that moves and reacts to your, um, your movements in real life, it's really easy. It's really easy. There's so many tutorials I just learned from YouTube. And also, I I do have the, the pro version of Life 2D Cubism. But I think because of the there was not many layers in that um, PSD, I think you could do that with the, with the free version. I think you would be fine to do that with the free version. But yeah, this is how she turned out. I know, stunning, stunning. <laughs> But yeah, that will be the end of the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you feel educated on the, the, the process of VTuber models now. If you liked the video, consider subscribing to me. I do live stream every week and make fun content for everyone to enjoy. So become a fruitling today. Subscribe. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye.